It is time now to know what's on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. Broadcast journalist Ifi Unyegbule and journalist Dario Dufawoko are here in the studio to review the papers. Gentlemen of the press, good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Thank you for having us. All right, we head straight uh, to the papers and we'll begin with The Guardian. International Youth Day, more youth take to gambling, cybercrime to escape exclusion. Uh, one in every six unemployed youth globally are Nigerians, data suggests. Uh, chances of survival are slim. Youth influencers insist. Uh, youth innovation catalyst uh, for development. All right, you find details of all of the stories on the pages of The Guardian newspaper. To the Nigerian Tribune, 18 years after federal government OK's return of toll gates, cars to pay 200 naira, SUVs to pay 300 naira, private box, buses rather, 300 naira. And you find all of those details on the pages of the Nigerian Tribune. To the first news newspaper, Nigeria to reintroduce toll gates. So that's on the front page of the first news newspaper, Nigeria to reintroduce toll gates. Gates, uh, the new rates, cars, uh, 200 naira, Jeep, 300 naira. All of the details on the pages of the First News newspaper. To the Daily Trust, uh, VAT ruling, uh, federal government to lose taxes amidst uh, dwindling revenue. Uh, Value added tax ruling, federal government to lose taxes amidst uh, dwindling revenue. You find details. Of this on the pages of uh, the Daily Trust newspaper. To the business day now, Lagos to create 5.2 trillion naira electricity market from gutting uh, debty generators. Lagos to create 5.2 trillion naira electricity market from gutting dirty generators. You find details of, of all of that story on the pages of uh, the business day. To the national economy now, viable platforms guaranteed return on investment will boost diaspora remittances for investment. Viable platforms guaranteed return on investment will boost diaspora remittances for investment. The pages of the national economy has all of the details of that story. To the Nigerian News Direct now, all spill shell to pay Ogoni communities 45.9 billion naira compensation. Compensation satisfies final judgment. Shell spokesman blames spill on third party during civil war. If you want more details, turn to the pages of the Nigerian News Direct for more on the story. To the Nation newspaper now, toll payment returns on 5,050 kilometers federal highways affect OK's approval. Implementation starts after completion of projects. Uh, and the paper gave some of the likely roads, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Niger Bridge, Onitsha Inugu, Apatakot Expressway, Abuja Kaduna, Kanu Highway, OK Nelukuja Abuja. All right, you find details of all of that uh, on the pages of uh, the Nation. Uh, newspaper to the punch newspaper now record envoy diplomat arrived today indonesia defense assault we shall take action after discussing with the envoy says federal government nigerian diplomat the aggressor elbowed immigration official ambassador mm. all right you find details of that story on the pages of the punch newspaper to the leadership newspaper now dss quizzes uh, ex adamawa governor bindo uh, five others over death wish for President Muhammadu Buhari. Uh, DSS quizzes ex Adamawa Governor Bindu, five others over death wish for President Muhammadu Buhari. Uh, tension high in Yola over arrest. I won them against utterances at APC meeting, says former governor. To the Disney newspaper, your opinions on Supreme Court judgment, malicious, self serving. Buni tells Kiamu others, says ruling has strengthened uh, party instead, advises aggrieved members to approach internal conflict resolution channels. All right. To the Daily Times now, will lift Twitter ban soon? Federal government, Vanguard newspaper, uh, the Daily Times newspaper rather, will lift Twitter ban soon? Federal government. Reintroduces dual plazas on highways, vehicles to pay between 200 naira, uh, 500 naira to per trip. 
details on the pages of the Daily Times. To the Daily Sun, uh, federal government to lift ban on Twitter soon. Uh, tech giant agrees on conditions, including setting up office in Nigeria. Details of all of the stories on the pages of the Daily Sun. To the blueprint, uh, cholera spread kills 393 in Kanu, Katsina, Sakoto, Kebi, others. Uh, cholera spread kills 393 in Kanu, Katsina, Sakoto, Kebi, others. Details of the story on the pages of the blueprint. And finally, on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, COVID-19, NMA others seek shutdown of NYSE camps. There are more COVID cases at NYSE camps than reported. Federal government uh, says Nigeria not a testing ground for Moderna vaccine. Explains why there's uh, strict travel protocols in Nigeria. And it may cause for suspension of camping activities if federal government can't vaccinate all core members. You'll find all of these details on the pages of the Vanguard uh, newspaper. But let's go to the story um, that uh, came out of uh, the Federal Executive Council meeting yesterday, uh, talking about the, retour, the return rather, of uh, toll payment uh, after 18 years has been reported uh, this morning. And I wonder what you make of this return. Now, the federal government is saying that um, the revenues made out of uh, the toll uh, will be used for maintenance and uh, payment of uh, those uh, talking about contractors who will be involved in uh, the roads con construction and all of it. And uh, every other thing is basically maintenance such that when investors come, they see what has been done. And I wonder what your impressions were when the government says it is returning. Well, um, I think it's uh, something that we should actually take a look at as it is. Uh, some would say, why would you want to go back to it after 18 years? How have you been able to manage the roads in the last 18 years? But to me, I think it's a good idea. Uh, the citizens have to be responsible. Let's begin to pay the toll as it is. If they've said to us that it's something that will be used to maintain the roads, um, I think we should give it a try so that we don't go back and forth on that. But we took it off in the first place, and there are those who will tell you, what, what, are, what are you using my taxes for? If you're saying that, okay, the money is accrued from the tolls, and what would be used for the maintenance and all of it, but I have been paying tax. What are you doing with it and all of that? Uh, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they have changed now as it is. I saw a rider there where the government is saying that uh, implementation starts after completion, completion of, the, of proje the project. And they're saying, look, we will do this. This is what we're going to use the money for. Let's watch and see how, how it plays out. But I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea. That, mm. that's, that, that's exactly how I feel about it. Let's get Darius' perspective. Uh, do you think this is the way to go? Yeah, it's long overdue. Mm. Mm. And the return of the toes is actually long overdue. I think uh, it has become very obvious that uh, we will not be able to manage our roads, our infrastructures, road especially, until we citizens begin to play certain roles in you know, the maintenance. However, as good as it, uh, it is, I'm more gladdened by the fact that uh, implementation won't start until, until certain roads are completed. completed. Mm. I'm happy that it is not a blank, uh, blanket order. Mm it will affect specific roads, roads mm. across the country. To encourage so roads. If I'm leaving my home, traveling on Lagos by the expressway, I already have an idea that oh, I'll be paying to and fro. Mm. You understand? So it's not as if it becomes another opportunity to be exploited. And I'm hoping that part of the arrangement will be a road now free of exploitative uh, officers. Mm. I am believing that as part of this uh, package, we're going to have roads that are protected, manned, policed. This is not just pay toll and 
there are certain things we, we go to other countries we see tolls and the advantages of tolling your roads better police roads less exploitation on the roads certainty that you'll be driving on a road free of bumps mm. i won't pay tolls only for my car to run into a ditch i won't be happy to pay next time mm. it is a good idea if properly executed, if properly implemented, mm. and we must be more concerned about what happens after we start paying. The roads will be completed, we will start paying. Those roads need to be maintained. Mm -hmm. If we are paying, maintenance should become a culture a tradition, a must. Because it, it behoves on both the government and the road users to be interested in what happens to those investments. Mm -hmm. The roads now become investments. That all of us are investors. And we must be sure that these investments are properly maintained. maintained. It is only when we do that that we will have uh, achieved the main uh, reason for returning to something we left 18. 16 years ago. Mm. And it is ago. not as if uh, we don't have other uh, areas we want to spend money on. But we are thinking gradually we should begin to divest some things from government. And I may Quickly. want to add Quickly. that if this is a public-private partnership, the better. Thank All you. Right. So right now we'll be looking at uh, the doctor's strike, uh, which uh, a lot of has been generating a lot of concern because of uh, the challenge of the coronavirus, where we are recording an increase in numbers uh, in recent days, and we also see the cholera outbreak. And uh, there has been a back and forth meeting with government, which has been deadlocked. A lot of persons had hoped that uh, yesterday uh, there would be an end or some resolutions reached, but there wasn't. And when they met also with the House Committee, there was no resolutions reached as well. And uh, they are complaining, you know, complaining, talking about the resident doctors, about the government's handling of the matter. Of the matter. And the fact that the government is always reneging on its agreement with them. And I wonder what you are making, seeing that we already have a brain drain, there is a challenge of COVID-19, and yet we are going back and forth with a matter as sensitive as this. Yeah, you just talked about uh, COVID-19 now. The world is looking at the Delta variant that's actually ravaging uh, some countries as we speak. And, and you, Nigeria. Yes, and Nigeria. You wonder why it is that government is playing games. That's the way I want to put it. You don't have to play politics with everything. Then again, we'll look at the doctors on their part. The last time you had this on pass, with government, what was the resolution? Is it that you go to government, you have a meeting with them, they give you something, then you go back and forget the agitations that pushed you out in the very first place. Now that has happened, they probably did not continue with the agreement or what it was that you were asking for. Now you're down to lean again. I'm not saying it's wrong for them to down to, it is very right, it's correct. You're asking for something which I think the government should do. These are supposed to be the best uh, uh, paid, you know, professionals, uh, if you understand what, I, what I'm talking about. Look at the hospitals. You get there, there is a death of doctors. You don't find people to uh, attend to uh, people who are sick. And I'm saying government needs to be responsible when it comes to the issue of doctors. It's become a shame. It's become like a sing song. Every day you open the papers, you're having issues with the doctors, you're having issues with pensioners, you're having issues with teachers. What is wrong with us? But when you want something, you come to the people. It's either you're going to the bank where they have their money to take something from their money. Remember when they said they were going to borrow from the monies of mm. people uh, that they had in the bank. Now you're going to uh, uh, get back to the tolls after 18 years. But you're not thinking about what it is that you're supposed to do for the people. So I'm saying that the, the doctors, they need to wake up. Stop going and getting uh, half of what it is that you ask for or a quarter of what it is that you ask for. Get all of it or nothing. 
If you want to stand, stand and say, this is what it is that I want. If mm. you don't do this, we will not get back to work. And I think I've mentioned wake up from this idea of threatening people to say, if you don't no get work, back no to pay. work, we'll sack you and we get other people. It just doesn't make any sense. As government, your responsibility is to find a way to get people doing their jobs and you pay them right. Mm. Uh, Daria, I wonder what your reaction to the handling on both sides now uh, of the matters, uh, how you, you, you see it, what impression it's making now, because it seems the doctors are trying to make a statement this time around saying, if you do not agree, I wonder why you're smiling, if you do not agree to our terms, we are not returning to work. If you like threaten us, we are not moved. I'm smiling because we have passed that road before. Oh, okay. I remember very well it was here, if it was here, we discussed this same issue. Yeah. When they announced they were calling off the last strike, and I expressed my fear. But I'm yet to see their demands met. I'm not a member of the association. I was worried that the demands they put out, they were not met. And these guys are calling off the strike. Are we sure? This ultimatum business will work. Mm. People said it is good in uh, labor issues to give and take. And I said, well, it is not good in labor issues, especially where lives are affected, to always run in and run out. You run back to work, you run away from work in the name of strikes. The people suffer. And I don't think it's the appropriate thing to do. That's is uh, the reason for my smile. However, talking about my, my reaction to the current uh, imbroglio, as I want to call it. Okay. Uh, if it, the problem uh, is that in Nigeria, you actually don't always know what happens next. Right. And it's in such situation, you must be wary of where you pitch your tent. One major thing I've seen in all this is that the minister, uh, labor minister, uh, Chris Nkige. a doctor for that matter, mm. is not helping the, man, uh, the issue. I want to appeal to him to be less autocratic in his approach to this strike issue. Maybe the doctors too become less uh, adamant mm. and will find a, a common ground. Point. Yeah. The minister, in my opinion, is high-handed. I read and I heard where he said he will no longer discuss with the doctors. Yeah. And what's his job? If he will no longer discuss with striking doctors, he has simply told us he will no longer work as a minister. For now, that is his main assignment. Mm. Maybe he does not understand what being a minister is. He's not the minister of hospitals. He's not the minister of mortuaries. As we speak today, the only thing he's ministering about is that strike. Mm -hmm. And he should see it. He's minister of labor, productivity, and whatever. Now we have an industrial uh, issue. And you're saying you will no longer discuss. It is, it is un, ungentlemanly, to mm -hmm. say the least. The last time they were discussing and discussing, the demands were not met. Some Things were offered and some promises were made and both parties smiled and laughed at the camera, celebrating the end of part one of what I'm afraid may be in five parts or more. Mm. So when you have a situation like this, I want to appeal to both parties now. Think of the people. If you really want to understand the impact of this strike, go to the general hospitals. Yeah. Yes. People troop in there, mm. they sit down, their cards are taken. Uh, it is even worse that they are not being told to go home immediately. They are kept for hours with the hope that at least one doctor will stroll in and help out. Mm. Nobody is attending to them. It's unfortunate. People are falling sick by the day. We have outbreaks of cholera in many states of the country. The uh, variant of uh, COVID-19 is stretching more and more by the day, mm. yet we have a strike that looks like it will not end. It's, it's it will not 
it's an, unf airport, it's an unfortunate uh, uh, situation uh, because uh, there are those who are saying that state governments uh, also need to take up the responsibility of paying the doctors, especially those who are owing them. And others are saying, don't rope every state in because it's not all states that are no, owing. No. And so engagement those, those should be across should states, pay. should pay them. But then we, we have to leave, these people pay. We have to leave the conversation at here. This time. Mm. They're exposing the net to a lot of danger. Yes, we have to leave uh, the conversation here now. Dario Dufo, if you're Thank you so much thank for you. your time thank on you. the newspaper review.